good stuff. And you too? Yep. Hmm? Yeah. Hey guys, today we are gonna go to Nara. Let's go! Hi, my name is Bettina, but you can call me Ock, short for Adventurer. I love traveling and exploring our world, even if I'm a little awkward. As my favorite quote goes, travel far enough until you meet yourself. Are you ready? Let's go on an adventure. From Kyoto Station on the Nara Line, it takes about 45 to 1 hour on the express train. It's a 20 minute walk from Nara Station, but if you get off Kintetsu Nara Station, it's only 5 minutes to the Deer Park. This video is sponsored by Nara. Just kidding. I wish one day, so make sure to subscribe, it would really help me out. When we arrived, I headed straight to Starbucks. Don't judge me for needing pumpkin spice to power my day. Okay, fine. You can judge me. This is only four days after Japan opened again, so it's not super crowded. The last time I was here was with Anna and Travis. We were walking, there's actually a cliff right here, and it's so quiet compared to usual. But we're gonna be heading to the deer park first, and then we're gonna go hit up all the temples. So walking down the street, you can actually see a lot of stores and restaurants and souvenir shops. So there's a lot of stores and restaurants if you guys want to buy souvenirs. But it's pretty much a straight walk from Nara JR Station and we're going to go check out the deer. So let's go! And like there's a lot of famous stores too like the Sembei that they're selling and like traditional foods. In the Nara area, so kind of fun fact. So Nara is actually not Kyoto, it's a little bit higher up. So it's its own prefecture, but it used to be the capital, the original permanent capital before, and it was called Yamato before it was called Nara, so. Okay, we're gonna go head up there, and it's really nice, because I remember this nine years ago, and there's like a little pond and everything, and you'll start to see it. We're gonna pull up to the right-hand side. So, let's go. <laughs> this is crazy, I was here and I was like, guys, look at the turtles nine years ago. Do you guys remember me saying that? Oh my gosh, it's like, gives me a lot of feelings. And those stairs over there, I was there too. guys I was here last time we took a group photo when we came to Nara and it was actually right in front here I'll show you guys this is where we took our group photo nine years ago right here <laughs> This is Goji Noto, so it's like a five-story pagoda. Uh, yeah, it's very famous. Why? Because of this. <laughs> you guys can see that there's so many signs. By the way, this is not Starbucks sponsored. Um, <laughs> there's so many signs on the road that says, Dear, we've just randomly jumped. Of course, but you can see them like all lined up down the, down the street. Because people are crossing, the deer are crossing as well. Look how smart they are. Like they're gonna cross. Look at them go. And then they're gonna just cross the street like this. 
Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> They're so smart. Look at them go. And now it's green, but these guys, well, they can't really go because they're just kind of in the middle walking down the street. <laughs> and these guys are just stuck here. <laughs> they're right here. Oh, and more are coming, more are coming right here. According to Shinto and local beliefs, a deity arrived in Nara on a white deer to act as the city's protector, and that's why the deer of Nara are considered messengers of the gods. We got some sambay, which are actually made out of um, rice and flour, I think, but they're good. They're actually approved by the deer association, so we're going to try. Alright, we're going to test it out. Do you want one? Yeah, you're looking at these? <laughs> okay, let's let's give it one. Okay. Hey, you want one? Yeah. Yummy? Yummy! <laughs> He's so cute! Oh, he dropped it! What's it? Yeah, we'll do another one. Hey. There you go. Yummy. Yeah. <laughs> Very yummy. And then they actually cut the antlers too, guys. Ah, oh, you want more? <laughs> you in a vow? You in a vow? Yeah. So the deer park actually opened in 18... 1862, do you want? Yeah, ooh! And since then they had a horn and then the deer would actually come and they would all gather. So they have a lot of deer, ah! <laughs> deer activities and everything. Um, so it's really nice. Ooh! <laughs> so um, yeah, they opened it and then sometimes they even have to cut off their antlers and they're actually wild deer. So there are two types of deer, the ones that are in the park, the, the shika in the park koan, and then the ones that are in the mountains. And they eat primarily grass, but they find their own food even when tourists don't have the crackers, but you can see that they're quite aggressive. When in the past, when I went here, some of them were like just way overfed. So, um, yeah. <laughs> He's like young, very, very aggressive, very hungry. <laughs> Are they fighting over crackers? They have no antlers though. Yeah. No, you want, you want another one? Huh. Yeah. Okay, good job. Good job. <laughs> I think he really likes you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they don't even bow anymore. They've lost their manners. <laughs> See, like some of them bow. Guys, look, look right? <laughs> don't they? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can give you a photo. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. I gotta open it. Bow first. Oh, bow? Yeah? Okay. Hi. They're so cute guys. He's bowing so hard. Okay, okay, last one. Last one? Last one? Yeah. Yes! One more! Yay! Okay, okay. Why is it like, did you see him headbutt me? <laughs> Do you see? He was bowing. Oh, he's bowing. Oh, he's bowing. Oh, he's bowing. Thank you. <laughs> he ate so many. I gave him so many, actually. Look how they look. Look how sleepy they look. So I was here uh, nine years ago with Rifa. 
And um, this was my first time coming, and it was so, so, it was so cute. It was so nice. So Todaiji Temple is this way? Ah, there it goes, it says Todaiji Temple. Hey, Iko. Oh yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's just like going in there. Smelling? I don't know. I wonder why they do that. It's emotional, it's peace. <laughs> oh, look at this big fella, guys. Whoa. And he's going to go up there. Oh, look at that tongue. Oh. Hey guys, so this is the Todaiji. We're going to be going to one of Japan's most famous and historically significant temples and a landmark of Nara. And it was constructed in 752 as the head capital of all provincial Buddhist temples. And yeah, it's so big. So if you can see up here on the roofs, it's just so old and I don't think they actually redid the paint, but it's so beautiful despite being old. So this is this is it you guys So um, this is the main hall inside you guys which is called the Tai Butsu Den and it was held at the record as the world's largest wooden building despite that it was reconstructed in 1692 and it's only two-thirds of the original temple hall's size. Um, but the Dai Butsu inside which you're going to see is 15 meters tall and its seated Buddha represents Varakona and is flanked by two Bodha Vistas. And then there's a lot of smaller um, Buddha statues and models and things like that inside the hall. And there's a pillar inside that's the same size as Dai Butsu's nostril. And it said that those who can squeeze through this opening will be granted enlightenment in their next life. So, let's go inside his nostril. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why the Todaiji temple was built was because the emperor at the time believed that the power of Buddhism would save the country and thus issued an imperial decree to construct provincial temples. In particular, the Todaiji temple with the great Buddha was constructed as the hub of Buddhism for the protection of the nation. The Great Buddha of Nara has a seated height of 1,498 centimeters. So inside you can see like behind, behind the uh, Buddhas and what it looked like, the reconstruction of how it used to be before and models and like information and learn about the place. It is really cool and it used to be one of the seven great temples. Um, and you can tell it's massive, there's just something really kind of unique and different than the other temples, the canon temples that um, we've gone to, so yeah. Knees like this. This one, right? Yeah, I think this is the thunder lightning god, uh, probably to protect the temple. But he, there's two of them on the left and the right hand side before walking up to Todaiji in the deer park. Yeah. 
<laughs> I gave him a three touch. December 19, I think it says December 1998, it became a World Heritage UNESCO site. Um, so definitely worth a visit. Deer Park, Tadeji. It's interesting because right now it is um, mating season, so you can hear the male and the female deer is going at it. So you guys listen throughout all the clips in the video. So, yeah. <laughs> oh no, I don't have any. <laughs> They're fighting over the last cracker. It's forever. Wait, I love them forever. Okay, last Can we bow? Can we bow first? Bow first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bow? Yeah. Hi. Good job. And you too? Yep. They're so cute. They're actually so cute. Thanks, guys. Thank you. It's actually so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to comment down below. I will take one of the comments and put them into the next uh, video and catch a live stream. So all the links are down below. And subscribe and all that stuff. Lightly graze it. You don't have to smash it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining in the Kyoto Adventures because I know it's been like up and down with all the tech things. But you guys are the best. See you guys in the next adventure. Bye! <laughs>